Hello, hello, hello. This is the Vanilla JavaScript Podcast. I'm Chris Ferdinandi. Thanks for joining me. Today, I'm talking about why planning out your JavaScript projects makes it easier to write code, and I wanted to share with you how I go about doing it. Um, but first, a quick reminder that if you want to master JavaScript in 2018, head over to gomakethings.com and sign up to get daily developer tips sent straight to your inbox every weekday. You can also find a bunch of other resources for learning JS too. Now, on to today's show. So writing JavaScript, and really programming in general, is really just writing down a series of steps that you want the browser to take one after another. But figuring out what those steps are, where to start, and how to sequence them can be overwhelming, especially when you're just learning or if you're trying to take on a bigger project. So today, I wanted to let you in on a trick I use whenever I start a new JavaScript project, and that's to plan your script on paper. I am 100% serious here. Before I ever open a text editor or a browser, I plan out my scripts on paper. It helps me think big picture and think through the logic of my code before I get bogged down in the specific methods and tactics I need to implement it. Um, so, and for, there's something about for me staring at a screen or looking at a text editor just reframes the way I think about my code. So, so putting it on paper where I can step back and see it all in one kind of snapshot is really, really helpful. So let's look at an example. Um, uh, in this case, uh, like a split the check app. Um, so if I was trying to write an app that would tell you how much each person in your party owes for a meal, um, to figure this out, you would need a few pieces of information from the user. Um, you would need to know the cost of the meal, the amount they want to add as a tip, and the number of people in the party. And the first thing that I would do is sketch out those fields. I'm a visual person, and so seeing them helps me focus on what I'm trying to accomplish. So I would literally draw some little rectangles with some labels over them, identifying these fields as um, the information that we need to collect. And then I'd start to think through what the script would actually need to do with those fields to calculate the per person amount. So you'd need to convert whatever tip they put in as a percentage into a decimal value so you can actually do math with it. Um, you would need to get the tip amount in dollars for the meal um, from kind of that tip amount and the total cost of the meal. So, you know, based on those two pieces of information, what is the actual dollar value of that tip? Um, then you would need to figure out the total cost of the meal by taking um, that, you know, that meal value and that tip dollar amount and adding them together. And then finally, you'd need to divide that total by the number of people in the party so you can find out what each person owes. Um, now, we can actually map out tactically what our script needs to do to complete those tasks. And to help me out here, this is where I go so far as to actually like writing amounts with real numbers into my sketch so that I, I have actual numbers to work with. Um, largely because, to be honest, I just suck at math. Um, and because I'm super visual, seeing like a real example helps me kind of do this out a little bit better. So, um, you know, so let's, I guess, actually like kind of do this out. So, um, you know, step one, converting the tip as a percentage into, um, uh, you know, a tip as a decimal so that we can use it with our math. So let's say we wanted to tip 20%. I would do 20 divided by 100, which is going to get me 0.2. Then I'm going to take that tip amount um, and or tip value and get a tip amount in, in dollars for the actual meal. So let's say the meal was $80.50. I'm going to multiply that by the decimal I just got, 0.2. And that's going to give me a dollar value of $16.10. Um, now we need to figure out the total cost of the meal, including tip. So, you know, that $80.50 plus $16.10 gives us $96.60. And then I'm going to divide that total by the number of people in the party. So um, $96.60 by, let's say there's three people in the party, is going to give us an amount of $32.30. And 30 cents. And now, based on all of that, I can quickly put together a rough version of the actual JavaScript I'd need to accomplish this. Um, so I could set variable tip amount to equal um, some sort of total times parentheses tip divided by 100. Um, the final amount, uh, variable final equals total plus tip amount. Um, and the per person amount 
um, variable per person equals final divided by people, whatever the number of people happens to be. And I know it seems crazy to start your code on paper, but I found that anytime I'm stuck with how to approach a project, it helps me think through the logic more clearly. I don't, these days I don't do this with every script. Um, a lot of the like simpler stuff I can just start writing, but when I'm working on a new plugin, this is 100% the way I start all of my projects. Um, so that's it for today. If uh, you want to master JavaScript this year and learn more great tips like this, head over to gomakethings.com to sign up for my daily developer tips. They get sent straight to your inbox every weekday. And I also have a bunch of other really great resources for learning JS too. I will see you next time. Cheers.